What's up everybody, Carl here with another Ubuntu Server Tutorial. Today we're going to go ahead and um, set up MCMyAdmin on a 32-bit environment. Uh, I covered this tutorial for 64-bit users uh, last week, I think it was what it was, but um, there's a whole different process if you're running a 32-bit version of Ubuntu Server. And the process is different, which is why I need to make another video. The 32-bit version will work both in a 64-bit environment and a 32-bit environment, but you can't install the 64-bit version on a 32, which is why there's a need for the second video. So let's go ahead and begin. You need to go ahead and crack open your terminal program and log into your server. I'm going to go ahead and start by simply doing a sudo apt git update, because that is what you do first. And I should like to spell things correctly this morning. Excellent, once the update is finished, we're going to go ahead and install a couple programs. First thing we're going to need is we need to get mono. So we're going to do sudo apt get install mono. I apologize. It's actually dash mono dash complete. I apologize about that mix up there. Once mine is done completing uh, installing, we need to install Java. So sudo apt get install open jdk dash seven dash jre. This is a large installation, so it might take in a minute. Excellent, now we need to install screen. So sudo apt git install screen. My, my uh, installation already has it installed, but you may need to run it just to install it just in case you don't have it. Next, we'll need unzip. So sudo apt git install unzip. Again, mine's going to have that installed already. Yours might not, so just run the command. Excellent. Now we need to make sure we're in our home directory. So just go ahead and just type cd, and it'll take you over to your home directory, and we're going to go ahead and make a new directory called mcmyadmin. So sudo mkdir mcmyadmin. Now we're going to go ahead and move into that directory. So cd mcmyadmin. Now we need to go ahead and uh, download the, um, the my mcmyadmin file. So sudo get HTTP colon forward slash forward slash my MC I'm sorry MC my admin dot com forward slash downloads with a capital D forward slash capital M C M A the number two dash latest with a capital L dot zip once it's finished, just go ahead and run an ls command just to make sure you have it downloaded. You'll see in the bottom there that I have the zip file installed or the zip file downloaded. Next thing you need to do is you need to unzip it. So sudo unzip capital MCMA, the number two dash latest the capital L dot zip. Oops. You'll see all the, it'll print out all the files that extracted. Just do a quick ls and you'll see just to verify that all the new files and folders are in fact there. Now we're going to go ahead and run the configuration only. So sudo mono mcmyadmin with a capital M, capital M, capital A dot exe with a dash set pass. I'm going to go ahead and choose password for mine. You set your password if you like. And then config only flag as well. It's going to run it for the first time. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and do a quick control C. Uh, just to make sure it exited properly. So, we installed screen earlier. What screen's going to allow us to do is screen's going to allow us to attach this MC My Admin service to that screen. 
If we don't attach it to a screen and we close our terminal window, the um, my I'm sorry, MC my admin is going to crash because well, we closed the terminal that it was attached to. So let's go ahead and type in screen. I'm going to go ahead and do negative S capital S to go ahead and just name it. I'm going to go ahead and name it called MC my admin. This comes in handy later when you're trying to reattach to the screen. Once you open the new screen, you'll see a brand new terminal. It's nice and clean. Then what we want to do is we're going to go ahead and do sudo mono mc my admin dot exe. Now, as a security precaution, uh, I did run it using sudo. Um, it's not recommended use it running the server with any sort of administrative permissions. I'm doing it just for sake of ease. Uh, feel free to run the server without the sudo command if you so choose wish it. Okay, now that we have it open, um, pretty much running it for the first time, uh, you're gonna get a command saying on the bottom here, you must complete the first time start wizard via the web interface. So what we're gonna go ahead and do now is we're gonna go ahead and connect into the server with our browser. Okay, go ahead and open up the browser and browse to the server IP address with a colon 8080. It does operate defaultively on port 8080. Now when we get to the window here, our default username is admin and our password is what we set our password when we configured the server earlier. So mine's password. And I'll let you log in. Then to give you the introduction, welcome to MC My Admin 2. Go ahead and press OK. And I'm just going to go ahead and go over to the console, I'm sorry, the status window here, and I'm going to go ahead and start the server. The first time we start the server to the, to the uh, web face, it's going to fail, and it's going to give you a pop-up on why it fails. It's essentially you have to you have to you have to um, accept the terms and agreements set in the ULA, the, the ULA, and uh, it will let you know uh, as soon as it gets to that particular point. So just be patient with it. There it is, Minecraft server ULA. Just go ahead and press OK, and then you can go ahead and uh, it will launch the server again. Once it's finished, it'll tell you that the server is online. You'll need to just simply give out your IP address and your port number to the people you want allowed to connect into it. The default port for Minecraft is 25565 TCP. Uh, I believe you can change that here in the configuration settings if you so wish. If this server ran on your on, on your home network, you'll need to uh, port forward 25565 or whatever port you decide to choose um, to allow people to, from the outside of your network to connect into it. And uh, that's really it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave me a like. If you want to see more tutorial videos in the future, please subscribe. If you got a suggestion for a future tutorial that I should cover, leave in the comment section, send me a message, and, you know, uh, I'll do it if it's something that I'm able, yeah, capable of doing. And uh, yeah, guys, we'll see you guys in the next one.